Fallout 4 isn't a terrible looking game, but with mods you can make it look 10 times better, and in this video I'm going to show you the mods you need to use to make Fallout 4 look amazing on PS4. Just be warned that installing all of these fantastic mods that make your Fallout 4 look incredible means you may experience slight FPS drops in some areas and possibly even some major FPS drops in other areas, but as the saying goes, you can't nuke an omelette without irradiating some eggs. And even in the base game, exploring Boston Common makes the PS4 fan work so hard it sounds like it's about to take flight. With that said, I have included some optional mods in the description of this video that should help with performance, which could be especially helpful for those who aren't lucky enough to own a PS4 Pro. The mods will be split into four categories, which are fighting and weather mods, environmental mods, city and town overhaul mods, and miscellaneous mods. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and consider turning on notifications so you don't miss out on my latest uploads showcasing the best mods for Skyrim and Fallout 4 on PS4. With that said, let's check out the mods. First up is Better Graphics and Weather by Temka169, which is the fourth most popular mod of all time for Fallout 4 on PS4 with over 1.2 million downloads. Simply put, this mod improves the graphics and weather in Fallout 4 with a plethora of changes which include increased draw distance, darker nights, small changes in weather, fixes to water and the night sky, changes to the daytime sky, a new sunset, more clouds and more. This mod won't make your game look extra high definition because the restrictions on PS4 literally make that impossible. However, it will make slight changes that improve the lighting and weather, making your Fallout look much nicer than the base vanilla game. For improved graphics on PS4, this mod is a must have, and I'm sure most people that are still playing Fallout 4 on PS4 are probably already using it. Next up is Enhanced Lights and FX by Evial, which is going to be our interior lighting overhaul mod, greatly improving the look of our interiors. The mod's description tells us that Enhanced Lights and FX has the goal to create more atmospheric and realistic lighting. It overhauls the lights, effects, ambient light, and creates a new mood for interiors. Its features include all interior light sources now emit light, more god ray casting lights, more shadow casting lights, enhanced interior day slash night cycle visuals, including some interiors being darker during the nighttime and darker interior ambient light and fog. All of these changes lead to incredibly enhanced interiors that are much more atmospheric, realistic, and most importantly, more immersive. Entering a dark room or cave with light sources coming from unique areas, such as a hole in the roof, or a line of windows is now so much better with this mod as it highlights the light sources making them so much more prominent and noticeable. Our penultimate lighting mod is Improved Lighting Ballistics by RyanJP89. This is easily one of my favourite mods for Fallout 4 on PS4 as it makes long range sniper kill cams in VATS so much more cinematic and even more satisfying than they already were. So what does the mod actually do? Improved lighting ballistics improves lighting for projectiles such as bullets, lasers, gauss, plasma, missiles, flares and improves lighting for explosions. Essentially what it does is make projectiles glow much more intensely and give off more light, which travels with them as they shoot towards your target. When combined with the better graphics in weather mod that we've already talked about, which makes nights darker, you can really notice the difference as your projectiles light up everything in their path towards your target. For regular bullets, it might be a bit unrealistic to have them give off so much light or any light at all really. However, for the energy weapons, I think it makes sense that they would emit a decent amount of light. Either way, whether it's realistic or not, it definitely looks great, and that's what we're going for here. So to make your Fallout 4 look as good as you can make it, this mod is a must have. The fourth and final lighting mod on this list is Enhanced Flickering Firelight by Steve40 which will massively improve on the flickering light effects in Fallout 4. The mod's description does a fantastic job of explaining it. The description says, Fallout 4 features flickering light effects. However, the settings for many of the lights are too subtle and the flicker effect is hardly noticeable. 
This mod enhances commonly used vanilla flickering firelighting, including the burning barrels and oil lamps, tweaking their radius, giving them a deeper orange colour, and intensifies the flickering effect to make it more appealing. It also adds burning fire sound to some of the large fires that were silent. The mod author also explains that they created new lights and segregated most of the oil lamps, burning barrels, large fires, and illuminated mist, so that they have their own independent light sources. It's a wonderful mod that is very well designed and makes a surprising difference to the look of your game. It's a safe download and one that I definitely recommend. The one mod on this list that's going to have the biggest impact on the look of your Fallout 4 is Simple Green Simple Season Spring by Andrew CX, which is the second most popular mod of all time for Fallout 4 on PS4 with just under 2 million downloads and for good reason. Simple Season Spring breathes new life into the Commonwealth, filling it with colour, adding green grass all around the Commonwealth and adding leaves back to trees which makes the game look so much more colourful and alive and just better. It's not unrealistic either because grass and trees would be growing again 200 years after the bombs dropped. You just have to look at Chernobyl in real life. After just 30 years, Chernobyl is full of green grass, trees and other plants and greenery as nature has taken over the once human occupied land. Simple Season Spring is designed to make your game look like it's currently springtime in the Commonwealth and there are other mods in the series that reflect the other three seasons, so you could switch between them occasionally to immersively reflect the changing of the seasons if you wanted to, but the spring version is definitely the best looking of the four. As a bonus, the mod's description tells us that the series has been primarily designed for PS4, both utilising in-game assets only and in being optimised to ensure minimal impact on FPS. Because of the focus on preserving FPS, fewer trees are transformed into their living form than some other environmental mods. This is a wonderful mod that every PS4 user should have in their load order. There are alternatives out there, Overgrowth being one that gets mentioned a lot, however this mod is superior in my opinion as it is specifically designed and optimised for PS4. Great job Andrew CX, you really are a hero of the PS4 modding community. The second and final environmental mod on this list is Water Redux by Laminize. This mod is designed to improve the water in Fallout 4 by fixing certain aspects of it and making it more realistic and appropriate for the lore. The features of the mod outlined in the mod's description are Water clarity The water clarity from the surface is increased so you can see further into the water, but visibility still tapers off with depth. In some areas, this effect is more noticeable than others, primarily areas where the water is assumed to be cleaner, such as the Charles River and the water around Sanctuary. Underwater visibility. Vision underwater is now less blurry and have had their underwater fog levels adjusted and so actual visibility is extended. Dirty water. The dirty water, particularly the swamps and heavily irradiated bodies, has also been adjusted. In most cases, the visibility from both the surface and the underwater has been reduced, although the water has been made less blurry, which leads to a slightly sharper image underwater, but less actual visibility. I've purposely decided not to include any mods that alter Minutemen settlements for those who want to build up their own settlements themselves or have already built their own settlements, which is very likely. Therefore, I have chosen mods that affect settlements that you can't build on. First up is DC Glory by Slacks Norsefied. This mod overhauls and retextures Diamond City so that it truly lives up to its name as the Great Green Jaw of the Commonwealth. It does this by cleaning all the trash and making this a healthy and alive feeling city. It retextures the buildings, ground and walls, adds new buildings and completely overhauls the upper stands areas so that it's now fitting of its elite upper class reputation. However, there are three versions of this mod, full, light and basic. I highly recommend using the basic version as the light and full versions are very heavy on performance and will eviscerate your FPS when you're in Diamond City. The basic version is much less performance heavy and maintains a decent FPS while still adding a couple new buildings, retextures and making Diamond City look much nicer. 
The main difference I noticed between the basic version and the full version is the basic version does not include the expansion of the upper stands. This is a brilliant mod that breathes new life into Diamond City, giving the noodle stand a much needed upgrade and even adding a basketball court so the residents actually have something to do in their free time. If you're bored of or disappointed with the vanilla Diamond City, give this mod a download. Up next is Nuka World Glory, another mod by Slacks Northside. This mod is for people who wanted Nuka World to be much more like how it would have been pre-war and without the raiders turning it into a rundown dump. It makes Nuka World truly look like an amazing theme park worthy of the Nuka Cola brand with a much friendlier gauntlet, a much cleaner park with no junk and repaired roads and walls. It's freshened up, has a new coat of paint and it looks fantastic. For someone who wants Nuka World to once again become a tourist attraction for all of America, this mod is perfect, especially if you decided to wipe out the raiders and restore Nuka World as a trading town. With the power turned on, Nuka World would now surely be everyone's favourite place to do some trading and ride some roller coasters. However, you should be aware that the mod completely overhauls the gauntlet, removing the challenging mazes, minefields and making it a more peaceful entrance. So if you haven't completed Nuka World before, and you're concerned about the mod affecting the intended Nuka World quest experience, maybe make sure you finish all of the quests first before you download this mod. If you've played Nuka World before, then it shouldn't really matter too much. It's down to your personal preference really, but I love this mod and will be keeping it installed. The third mod in this category is Enhanced Pridwin Overhaul by Final Render 21. This mod makes the layout and different sections of the Pridwin make so much more sense and reflect that it's a warship that was designed to transport a large number of troops and equipment across America. This mod makes the layout and different sections of the Pridwin make so much more sense and reflect that it's a warship that was designed to transport a large number of troops and equipment across America. This includes an expanded diner, buildable living quarters, a clinic, a science bay, a workshop, a briefing room, a weapon shop, and soldier accommodation. After downloading this mod, you won't be able to uninstall it because it makes the Pridwin look so much better. There is really no reason not to have this mod installed. Great job and thank you Final Render. The fourth and final town overhaul mod is Antidote's Better Good Neighbor by, who would have guessed, Antidote. This mod is very much a quality of life mod that makes a few changes to Good Neighbor that just kind of makes sense. It changes the chem station area, adds some law friendly clutter and makes the town a bit more open plan. It's a nice little update to Good Neighbor that just makes it a little better. Great mod, thank you Antidote. The first mod in the final category is First Person Animation Tweaks by The Dust 01. Now you could say that this mod doesn't belong on this list because it's not a graphical mod that affects the aesthetics of the game, it's an animation mod. However, this mod has a massive impact on the aesthetic of Fallout 4 as it allows you to see more of the world whilst exploring with your weapon drawn in first person. With the added bonus of being much more immersive than the vanilla animation that had you constantly running around with your gun held up. Not only does this make travelling more immersive, but it allows you to see more of the now wonderful looking fallout you have created with the other mods on this list. For me, it's a must have mod that will never leave my load order. The final mod on this list is Reign of Brass by XV Rage, which is a simple and small mod that alters the duration of the casing from guns that use shells for ammunition. This allows you to, as the mod's title reflects, create a rain of brass, leaving a sea of bullet casings around you after you've just unloaded 200 bullets into a super mutant behemoth or a Mylar queen. This mod makes you feel like such a badass, being able to physically see how many bullets you've just unloaded is pretty sick. That's pretty much it, it's a small but significant mod, definitely worth a download. And that's it, that's all the mods you need to make Fallout 4 look amazing on PS4. Considering the restrictions on PS4 modding that stop us from being able to use external assets, modders have done an incredible job of improving Fallout 4's graphics, lighting, environments and more. Remember to check out the optional mods in the description of this video to improve performance if you are worried about FPS drops. You can also find links to all of the mods discussed in this video in the description. That will take us to the end of this video. 
I hope you enjoyed it, if you did please leave a like, and if you want to see more of my videos I really would appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. I'm also on Twitter and Facebook, just search Navelar to find me, or use the links in the description if you want to follow me. Thank you so much to Fluky Robin and Wayne Savage for supporting the channel with a membership, I really do appreciate it, thank you so much. If you want to support me and help me make more and better videos, please consider joining the guild and becoming a channel member. Just press the join button and I'll give you a shout out at the end of all my videos to thank you for your support. I'll see you in the next one, good luck out there in the wasteland.